Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, this is the Enchanted Planner, and today we're doing another Canva tutorial. We're going to talk about grouping elements and color grabs. Now, before we get into the, the, the thick of it, I wanna mention a few things. There's been a number of requests for tutorials for Canva. Keep them coming, I'm adding them to the list and I will make my way through them. The most prominent and most requested one, however, is how I get such a small kiss cut in my stickers. I don't use Design Space. I do it in Procreate. And once I figure out how to get that video footage pretty good, I will happily share that with you. The problem being is, is I work on an HP laptop and of course the iPad is an Apple product and Apple does not like to play well with other operating systems. In the past, when I've had people send me video footage that they've shot on an iPhone to my Samsung Galaxy, the video footage is absolute garbage. So once I figure that out, I will happily share that all with you. So let's dive in. If you're doing this for yourself, you're going to select eight and a half by 11 or type eight and a half by 11 inch. Just make sure you change it from pixels to inches in this bar. I'm going to work in 6.75 by 9.25 because in likelihood I may want to actually finish this up and import it into design space. So this is what we're making today. We're going to make some corners and we're going to make some box clusters and we're going to make a border. So we got a blank canvas. We need to come over here to elements and you can see I've been in here looking around for different things. I found them by typing in summer florals. So let's plop a floral onto the canvas. We're going to grab the corner and we're going to resize it because it's way too big for um, stickers and we're going to rotate it because I don't know when I rotate it, I just see a corner. That's all I see. I think it's just perfect for a corner and we're going to grab this pink one. And we're going to do the same thing. Size it to something that's a little bit more planner friendly. And we're going to group that right in there. Now I'm going to show you how I found all of them. If you find what you're looking for and you click on the three dots, you can either go to the creator that made them, or you can hit see more like this, and it will bring up the rest of the pieces in the set and possibly some coordinating elements that you can also work with. All right, so let's duplicate this pink one. We're gonna plunk this right here. Now, I want the blue and pink one to be the center of attention. So we're going to click on this one and we're gonna come up here to position and I'm gonna send it backwards. And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. Perfect. Now we need to group them. So we're going to highlight all of them and hit group. From now you can resize them, you can move them around, you can do pretty much whatever your little heart desires with them, which is perfect. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a box cluster. Oh, before I go too far, if you wanted to duplicate the entire element as one piece, you just have to highlight it, then it will give you the option to duplicate. Otherwise, if you just click let me get this 90 degrees. If you just click on the image, you won't be able to because Canva doesn't know which one you want to duplicate. So you do have to highlight them all. Simple and easy. Let's go back to elements. And we're going into lines and shapes. And we're going to hit the box. Okay, it was giving me blue ones before. Now it's giving me purple. <laughs> okay, so we need to come up here to border style. And we're going to change the border weight to, I like eight. I think it's a great thickness. Now we're going to change the internal color to white. Now we need to resize it for Happy Planner. So we're going to drag the side to 1.5 wide. Oops, went too far. And then we're going to drag the bottom to 1.5 high. And then we're going to duplicate this guy. Okay. We're going to come back over here to Elements. And I want to grab these florals again. So let's grab the blue one. And we'll resize him. I'm going to rotate him by using the arrows and I'm going to plunk him right there. And we're going to grab the pink one and we're going to do the same thing. These are still a little bit big. So let's resize these guys down by dragging the corners and then we're going to put them like so. Now, if you wanted, let's put this guy here for a second. 
Say you didn't want all of it to be in front of the boxes. Again, you come up here to position and you can send part of it behind the box, which is nice. And then I can bring this guy in, in front, sort of like that. Pretty, right? Now, again, we're gonna group the whole thing. We're gonna have to come in from the bottom though, because if you notice the moment I start moving, it starts picking up those other ones. So if you ever find that in Canva, if you've got a gr big grouping, try a different position. In this case, I'm coming in from the bottom. Sometimes you'll have to move things completely in order to <laughs> be able to group them. But you know, we work around things. Now, I don't recommend sizing here. If you start playing around with the size, you're going to shrink your boxes or make your boxes bigger. So make sure that you size all of your elements on their own individually then group them and you're golden. Okay, so now let's talk about color grabbing. So let's click on one of the boxes and we're gonna come up here to border color and we're gonna do the plus sign. Now we were in here a little bit last week and I talked briefly about color grabbing, but we're gonna come here to the eyedropper and we're gonna hover over where we want and we're gonna click with our mouse and that changes it to the blue. Then we can do the same thing with the other box. We're gonna come up here to border color and we're gonna to come to the eyedropper by getting the plus sign. We come over and we're gonna hover somewhere on the pink. That's pretty good, there we go. Now we've color grabbed and our boxes match our elements. What's also nice too is because we have grabbed those colors, they stay up here in the color drawer. We don't have to go looking for them again. Unless you're dissatisfied with one of the colors, then you can come in here and you can grab something that's, oops, <laughs> let's not do that. Um, grab something that happens to be a bit darker. Oh, it's because I forgot to tell it I wanted the box. Hold on, let's stop this. I want the box. <laughs> okay, let's do it now. Okay, then let's color grab. Oh, okay, I give up. Border color here. I'm trying to rush through and that's why I'm making a big mix. There we go. And then we get a little bit darker of a blue. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate this element. So again, we have to highlight all the elements and then hit duplicate or control D on your keyboard if you'd like. And I want to add another element to this. We're going to grab this blue and pink floral and we're going to rotate it around and we're going to make it smaller because we're going to just deke it in right there. It's a nice finishing touch. And then again, we're gonna group all of them. So they're one piece and I can move them up and down as I see fit. Okay, so now we're gonna make a border. So let's grab our pink floral. Plop it down, no. Okay, so let's grab the pink floral, put it in here. And then we're gonna grab this blue and pink floral. And then we're gonna grab this blue floral. And again, depending upon how you want it to lay, you can make this one the centerpiece by bringing it forward. <clears throat> now, to save ourselves a bit of work, we're going to highlight all of these and then we're going to resize them a little bit and then bring them down. But because I have them all highlighted, I can also duplicate the entire piece and then just lay it in beside. Then I can group them all as one piece and resize them or what have you. And that's the quickest and easiest way I've found. Like I find all kinds of little cheats <laughs> to try and get around doing more work in Canva, but it works, right? Okay, so that's the basics. Really, that's the basics of grouping and color grabbing. What I really suggest is just get into Canva and play around. Use the tutorials I'm putting out, but get in there and play around because there's so many things that can be done in here. And I will, of course, continue to add to the list. But what do we do with them now? So now you come up here to share and download. If you are going to import this into a software, you have to download a PNG with a transparent background. If you're planning on just printing it out and cutting it out yourself by hand, hit PDF standard and then hit download and you are off to the races. And then, like I said, you can do what the steps necessary in your uh, cutting software if you are importing it. Because these have a solid border, theoretically, theoretically, they should cut all in, the, all in their own. 
you can create a border for them with the offset option in your machine settings or not machine settings, your plot work, what do you call it? The software. But this should cut with a border with that, like on its own because we've got solid, it's all solid around. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you, Miss Orlula. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button on your way out. That's getting ever more important as Canada, you know, has our censorship bill coming through on the platforms. Um, and if you're new to our channel, drop us a comment down below letting us know you're new so we can formally welcome you to the community. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you next time. Ciao!